Hello everybody, my name is Vito Bell. I, if you're new to the channel, I'm a college student going to school for music and Spanish in North Carolina. And uh, I like shaving. I am a uh, wet shaver, a DE shaver, an antique razor collector. Um, and recently I've been doing reviews on the soaps that I have purchased over the years. Um, so this video in particular will be about Razor Rock the Stallion. Um, so um, moving from the outside in, this soap has pretty much the same case that all the others do. I know, I want to say recently they've started using the rounded, uh, the rounded cups, um, containers versus the square ones. <laughs> and um, so this soap has uh, the picture of the stallion on the front and it says it is an intense burst of oud cologne and uh, it is a shaving cream soap or a crope. So taking a look inside, it has that standard kind of crope razor rock whip on the inside and it's not going to be as soft as shaving cream and it's not going to be as hard as shaving soap. Um, so the smell, I have a few things to say about the smell. I started off not liking it at all. Um, <clears throat> I actually purchased this to be a gift to a family member and I did not give it to them initially because I did not like the smell. Um, I know normally you would keep a soap instead of giving it away because you like it, but <laughs> in this case that, that was not the case. However, so a couple months later, I think it's been a, a few months, maybe, maybe more than a few months. Um, since I purchased this as a gift um, and just about every month I like the smell more and more and it's gotten to the point where I like it a lot um, my girlfriend likes the smell of it a lot um, so I'm thinking maybe I just don't have um, the right smell taste buds for this soap maybe I don't have enough of a refined sense of smell um, to smell such high quality soap um, Razor Rock makes really, really awesome soaps, and I just buy their stuff randomly on Amazon. Um, I don't really research it much just because I expect a, a really, really um, constant um, quality in their soaps, and that's what I expected in this one. And it lathers great. It lathers just like any other Razor Rock soap, in my opinion. I've had really, really nice lathers with the soap. Like I said, I didn't like the soap and the, the, the smell of it in the beginning, but as time wears on, it grows on me. <laughs> so I, I like it. I like it now. It's gotten to the point where I like it. It's not my favorite smell, but my girlfriend likes it a lot. So uh, I guess in most cases, that's really what matters. <laughs> matters the most. And uh, I'm, I'm beginning to like it as well. So um, from here on out, I'm going to show you guys the lathering process and uh, talk some more in the bathroom. Thanks for sticking with me so far. All right, welcome to the restroom. Um, this is my little college apartment. It's really nice. Um, <laughs> bathroom is small, but it's really nice for shaving. I put the I put the camera in the medicine cabinet above the sink, and um, I have it on a piece of toilet paper that keeps it from sliding off the little glass um, shelf in there. Um, this fine uh, this medicine cabinet does not have a slip in the back for um, razors. If y'all did not know, um, a lot of old houses that have old medicine cabinets, they, um, they have, I, I am, uh, flowering or, um, what's the other way people call it? I am sprouting, flowering, um, I'm making the soap wet. Um, some people don't do that. Okay, so old medicine cabinets sometimes have slips in the back that you can flip, um, used double-edged razors into. Um, my, the house that I grew up in had one of those. Um, this one does not. This apartment was made in the fifties. Okay, moving on. Here's the soap, the stallion, and here's my brush. I will be using the Excelsior Texugo. I believe this is a best badger brush. I've had it since 2018 and it has held up really, really well. It's aged very, very nicely. And, um, the only thing I've noticed about it aging is, the, the plastic handle kind of has some like 
I wouldn't say cracks, but maybe stress marks on the inside, but not even really enough for me to care. I honestly think it, it looks cool. Um, so starting off with the lathering, um, I flicked most of the water out of the brush. I do that and I've um, gotten the soap wet. So I'll start lathering it for you guys. Been soaking the brush for about five, 10 minutes now. I normally start soaking the brush when I begin the YouTube video and then uh, I normally talk for about five minutes. I guess in this case it was almost five minutes or about five minutes. All right, so loaded the soap onto the brush. So I'm going to grab my silver dish really quick. Okay, I have my silver dish now. Sorry about that. Um, I normally face lather, so I don't carry the dish, my my bowl lather dish around with me all the time. Um, <clears throat> this is a super awesome little dish that I found at Goodwill. Um, and Goodwill or just thrift stores, consignment shops in general are awesome places to uh, to find little dishes. It's uh, It has um, it is darkened in color over time and uh, it's really fun to use. <laughs> okay, so bowl lathering has commenced. Um, I have a lot of bubbles in this, so it's kind of already kind of poofing out on me. It's not, not thick necessarily, however. Um, I wanna say that I was either a little too aggressive and or had too much water in the brush in the beginning, but that's fine. I always try and um, never cut corners with my lathering. You know, you can always fix a lather eventually. <laughs> Whether it's, I mean, it's easier to fix it um, if it's dry. It's harder to fix it if there's too much water. Um, but, I mean, there's no sense in wasting soap. And the lather, I think, is probably the most important thing um, when it comes to um, saving your skin and saving your face when you shave. Um, I have very sensitive skin, which is one of the reasons why I started DE shaving, wet shaving. Um, the, these soaps are really great for my skin, and um, the blade is a lot less harsh. Um, but the lather for me is the thing that's most important um, if I don't want to have red bumpy face afterwards. So we're, we're beginning to get there. We're beginning to get there. If you can see, it's it started getting pretty nice. The, the bubbles on the in the lather are a little still a little too big for my liking um, but I would say in terms of performance this soap lathers just the same as any other razor rock soap um, I haven't noticed any difference really in between any of them um, and I, I don't expect one from this so if you're if you're considering buying the soap and the only reason you would not buy it is if it lathers differently um, I would say don't worry about it. We already have plenty of lather. I I would use this right about now. It's getting to the point where the bubbles are at an acceptable size for me. And I I shave quick. I'm a one pass guy. I don't I don't really need to go more than one. Um partly because I don't grow a lot of facial hair. Uh and, and partly because I, I don't feel like scraping my face up every day or every other day. Um, so I'm a one pass kind of guy. Here we are. So I guess just a few minutes of not really, not really working too hard. We have a large amount of lather, large amount of really, really nice lather. You can see the sheen of my, uh, vanity light kind of reflecting off the soap. It looks really, really nice. Um, I, I don't have like a numerical rating system for soaps. I would say it's nice. I would recommend this soap to anyone who's curious about purchasing the Stallion. I would recommend the Excelsior Texugo brush. I'll put, um, I guess I'll, I'll put links to all these things um, in the description um, if you're curious about how much they cost on Amazon. Um, I wanna say this brush was maybe around $50. Um, Best Badger, which is the like the middle tier of um, badger brushes. It goes uh, pure badger, best badger, silver tip badger, um, as far as I know. Um, 
And then this soap, I, I'm sure all Razor Rock soaps are around $10 online. Really, really amazing deal. They last forever. Um, I've been using them forever. The, the quality is very, very consistent. Um, so yes, great soap, great lather. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Uh, you guys are so awesome. I can't believe how much support this channel is getting so far and views. I think I'm almost at like a thousand views now, which is amazing. All my videos get, get watched a lot and it, it, it's very, very encouraging. So thank you so much for your support. Um, happy shaving, stay safe, have an awesome day. Thank you so much. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear any questions or comments. Thank you so much.